Okay, hi everyone. We're going to try this other pattern from Tomas Padros. I've saved it on my um, Pinterest page. So if you go to my Pinterest, go into my saved stuff, go into Zentangle Patterns or All Pins. It'll find it either way. <coughs> it may be further down the page depending on when you see this video, but it's this one called Kangular. And if you hit visit, you will go to uh, Tomas's uh, Instagram page where he has all of his steps because um, Tomas does a really good job of really describing his um, patterns that he creates and there's often more than one page of description. So I think this looks really cool. Don't you like that? I love that. And it's talking about it is a pattern whose basic unit is a square with a triangle. So that's the main shape right there. And then you put another square inside like that and you get this. It looks like it's got a, a bit flap sticking out of a, a triangle hole. That's really cool. Come on, next page. So here's the deconstruction of this pattern. You make the L shape, and then you make a square. I should point it with my with my pointy tool, not my finger, so I can get, keep my finger out of it. So it's a square like a L, and then the square with the to keep the arm sticking out there, and then make a triangle across like that and then fill those in and then fill in that square and it looks like that. So that's the basics of it. But then he describes how you can use it in different ways. Uh, he does do the um, Zentangle registered trademark method of patterning. So he uses words that I don't use like fragments and uh, stamping and tessellation. We, I don't use those verbiages, so I'm, I'm unfamiliar with them. If you are familiar with them, you'll, you will know what he's talking about. He shows it here how to put it into a grid. And then he shows it here on how to make it into like a ribbon tangle, which I think looks really cool. And then here he's got some more step by step on how you could do it into a uh, curved line or connected rather than separated and how to turn a corner. This is the part page I'm going to want to use because I like the idea of doing it on his main thing with it like a border around. So I'm going to go ahead and try it this way. This is going to be where I where I work on this page. So I'm going to turn on my light. I've given myself a relatively large piece of paper today so uh, it is a five and a half inch square just so you are from aware of what it is I am going to go ahead and draw a line all the way around at the one inch mark in from my page so I have a nice straight marking not that not that I will use it but you never know and then I want to go in maybe I want this border well, let's make it another inch. We're, we're just going to, you know what? I want it a little bit bigger. I went too far in from the middle. So let's try again with a half inch. 
a half inch and then one and a half so that my border thing is one inch. So on each side I'm going to mark a half inch and then one and a half. Half inch and one and a half. This is a little bit more complex of a pattern. And since I've never done it before in any way, I think trying to do it as a border might be a bit of a challenge. But you know what? I'm always up for a good challenge, right? So he talks about, let me, let me go. Let me go into his Instagram so I can see it better. He talks about, there we go. Now I can zoom it in. Um, it begins with the two diagonals in the corner, which will be the side of the two triangles supported on the two strings on the outside, then proceed as in the previous cases. With practice, you will be able to do it without pencil strings. Mm -hmm. So you say. So he has us going like, I'm going to do it in pencil to start with. Can you guys see any of that? Probably not. Uh, it's got it. About here. About like that. Not quite in the middle, and about that much width between the two. Like I said, I'm going to, I, I, I don't follow the Zentangle method. And so like technically with Zentangle, even the string of the two lines is is pushing it for for planning but I am actually going to probably plan this whole thing out in pencil first and then draw it in the pen okay so then we're going to have this like this. And it has a Where's that one go? That one only goes to about the same as length as here. Okay, so that's about this wide all the way around. Like that. And like that. Something like that. Okay, so let's do here. And we're going to do that and like this and like that right am I right or am I wrong okay and then here and here, and a V here, 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 and a V. Oops, 
too far down. Same thing here. That went too far down. That's why it looks funny. Okay, it needs to stop here. And then it's got a V here. A v here. Okay. And then... In here. Inside here. And inside here. Inside here. Inside here. Inside here. Inside here. Like that. And then there and there. goes there and this goes up to here. This comes down. Like that. Is this Zentangle? No. No, it is not. Is it a pattern? Yes, it is. And I know the difference. Now, if I was just drawing one little bit of this pattern and then turning it and turning it and turning it, yes, that would be more Zentangle like. If I'm planning it out like this, this much in pencil, is that Zentangle? No. Nope. And I know it's not. And it's okay. It's okay, everyone. Don't panic. I am not doing Zentangle. I am just doing a tangle pattern. I may even make these curvy because I can. Does it make sense to be curvy? Maybe not. I think I might just do that. Okay. Now that I have penciled out all of that, and I don't know if you saw any of it, 
Now I am going to go ahead and draw it in. <coughs> and yeah, let's see what size do I want? Do I want an O2, O5? I think I want an O5. And I think I may draw them with a bit of a curve. I think I want them with a bit of a curve. Just a slight bit of a curve. So I'm going to do each one of these shapes first. Just a little gentle curve in it. Okay, now my middle ones go the other way. Right? See what that does. That might be weird. Not talking much because I have to concentrate. I may be doing this completely wrong.
Not sure this is going to turn out the way I expect it to. Uh, just saying. Not sure about these corners here, folky folks. I took a complex pattern that was already hard and made it harder. That sounds just like me, doesn't it? You guys know by now. Ay, ay, ay. Absolutely. That is exactly what I did. Okay, now these corners. Guess I just go like this. And I do this. No, that's not too bad. Let's see. Let me look at this closer. It's hard because it won't stay zoomed in. So now it's... I'm hot. Are you guys hot? Are you hot? I'm hot. It's it's that time of day where it's just almost too hot to stay out here. That's going to be a challenge for the summer. I'm going to have to do like a lot of drawing on the cool days. Like maybe get six or more of them done on the cool days. I'm just going to connect those. I don't know if that's right or not. That looks more right than that, but you know, it is what it is. They kind of look like frog legs. Okay, and now we fill in. Let's erase. I'm just telling you, Tomas is a genius, and he is very skilled at what he does. And I'm more of a flowy kind of gal. I like my things to have curves, 
Straight lines aren't my thing. So why I thought I could do this the way he does, I don't have any idea. I should know better. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to fix, I don't like, I don't like these corners. So I'm going to go ahead and connect them up. that and that looks better I'm going to do something different than what he's got for his coloring in bits. I'm actually going to color in this middle part. And then see what happens. I may put gray or some other color in, in here. The black, black's going to go in my middle, my middle bit. Hopefully, we're still recording. Hopefully, I still have sound. Don't follow me when you're doing this uh, pattern. Absolutely 100% go to Tomas's Instagram. Um, if I remember, I will leave a direct link to his Instagram so you don't have to get to it from my Pinterest page. In the description box, let me make a note of that on my calendar so I remember when I upload this video that that's what I want to do write that right now or I will forget link to Thomas Insta and this is called what was this called Kangular Oh, I see what I've done wrong. These weren't supposed to connect. That's why it looks wrong. Okay, you guys. I Because I didn't, I wasn't looking at this page. You see what I've done wrong? These were supposed to connect, but these were not supposed to connect. They were supposed to stay open. But that's not what I've done. I connected them. I connected these ones they were supposed to stay open and flat which is why it doesn't look right okay so now I've got a tangulation of kangular let me turn my light back on but now I know why I, why it doesn't look quite right can't draw today well I can draw I can't seem to can't seem to spell that's why it does not look right may have to try this again but it's definitely all of his patterns all almost all have a trick to them to try to draw them 
his favorite pattern that I really love is called membrane art. That one doesn't have a huge trick to it. Maybe I will use that one on the next video. I don't know. But I'm just going to color all this in. So I have a full-on colored-in background, this middle bit. But that is why it doesn't look right, because I connected things that should not be connected. That's okay. Part of part of learning is uh, doing things quote unquote incorrectly does not mean this is going to be a bad piece of art and anybody who looks at it is not going to know that I didn't do it right because I was consistent with doing it wrong um yeah now I think I'm going to get a gray. Let me use one of these pens here. I think I'm going to use a gray, a silvery gray. Maybe. What color is that? Let me find my swatch page. Uh, dual brush. Number 20. I think I want number 20. I want the... No, I want number 18. Okay. So these are the new pens I got recently. The ZSCM dual tipped brush and bullet nib pens. like this gray color. This is a, a cool gray, a bluish gray. Great color. It's color number 18. And if the brush is ever not accurate enough for me, I can always turn it around and use the, the bullet nib, right? But I like, I like a brush nib. We all like a brush nib. Get into the little spots, but you can color in quickly. time is it? Ooh, it's late. Okay. It's later than I thought. I just get carried away when I'm drawing, you know, and I just lose all track of time. Luckily today I do not have, I have things to do this afternoon, but I don't have a time frame for them. As long as it gets done before the store closes, I'm good. To go pick up my glasses. I said that on another video too, because I'm still, still in here drawing instead of going and doing my errands. But the place is open till like, I don't know, fairly late. I think they're open till at least six. They might even be open later than that, because it's a, it's a chain place. It's not just an eye doctor's office, so they may be open a little later. I haven't checked. I need to check, but I'm sure they're still open. It's only, it's not even noon yet, so I know they're still open. But 
That is why this didn't look right. I was supposed to keep those open. But that's okay. That's okay. If I had just drawn triangles to start with, probably would have been better off. But that's not what I did. I kind of did, but not really. Then I want to go ahead and shade these. I think I'll leave that white and make that a color, but I want to make it two toned so that it has a shading. So I want a color that has a light, a light color and a darker color of a similar shade. So let me see. Um, those two are similar, but far enough apart to make a nice shadow. If I color in this and then shadow in that, so I'm at 82 and 87. I'm going to color in 82. brighter than I expected. On this color paper it looks different. That's okay. It's drying down. It just looks darker here than it does over there. So as it dries it seems to be getting lighter. That's a good thing. By the time I go all the way around, hopefully it will be dry. I'm trying really hard not to do too many overlapping strokes. Missed a spot there. We have a question I can read. Uh, if you had to cancel one day of the week forever, which day would go? Gee. Practically, it wouldn't make any difference. But which day would go? Tuesday. 
No, not Tuesday. I usually have Tuesdays off. Well, not always. Take that back. I almost always have Thursday off. So Thursday has to stay. I would say Wednesday could go because that's my hardest day at work. However, if Wednesday went, then the stuff that gets done on Wednesday now would probably just have to get done on Thursday, so it wouldn't make any difference. That's the thing, is the stuff that you don't want to do on the day that you want to get rid of doesn't mean the stuff disappears. It just means that it goes to a different day. So practically, there isn't a reason to. choose to get rid of one. Now that's just going around and becoming a shadow. Which is working really well. It's a little more vibrant than I had anticipated. I expected it to be a little less vibrant, but that must be the contrast of that sort of purpley color of the paper, making it brighter than I think it would be. But maybe after it dries down a little even more, it will be less contrasty. But that's not bad. Okay. And it looks like white paper on the on the camera, but it's not. It's kind of a purpley paper. I think I want to lean into that purple by adding something here. Maybe like that. Question, if you could break one world record for anything other than sports, what would it be? Um, what would I want to break the world record for? I'm sure there's lots of things other than sports just don't know what kind of world records they have. Uh, is there a world record for giving away the most number of pieces of art in one day? I don't know. I would guess that there isn't. Let me look up world records. Guinness Book of World Records. No. No. Sh shortest bus driver. Old
oldest TV music talent show host. Echo Mermaid. Farthest swim with a monofin. A Welsh man drinks 50, 56 pubs in 24 hours to break a record. Uh... World break. So, um, let me see. Is there a home? Can I search for art? Let's search on the Guinness Book of World Records for art and see what kind of records there are for art. Search. Records. Largest fine art exhibition dedicated to one video game character. Most people performing a choreography dance. Largest tarangram dance. Most paint in a work of art. Oldest painting that won't, won't work. Uh, Largest sand art, longest cha pavement chalk art. There are 20 pages of art. Huh. Interesting. Deepest art exhibition, largest human art figure, longest henna marathon, largest nail art lesson, largest art lesson. Okay, so maybe uh, we will we will try to be the most people drawing a tangle pattern specific one. Pick one of your choice at one time. How about that? Some sort of art world record, whatever that might be. Okay. Okay, there we go. You guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Do something nice for someone today. Uh, make the world a better place, one person at a time. I feel like I need dots in there. Why do I feel like I need dots in there? Purple ones. Do I have a purple gel pen that I could use for that? I do. Oh, look at her. I was about to sign off, and, and, my, and my art page said, Nope, you're not done yet. Why? I don't know. Just little clusters of dots. Trying to be kind of random. But also fill the page in a pleasing way. Can you even see those? There are purple dots now.
that's what it needed. Just some simple, subtle purple dots. Maybe blue ones too. Do I have blue? I do have a blue. Let's see, is blue working? Oh, the blue's better on this. Purple was a little, a little light. I mean, a little dark, a little too much closer to the black color. You guys can probably see the pur the blue better. And now it kind of looks like a galaxy in here. There we go. Now I've made myself a galaxy in the background there. Now you can see it better. Okay, now I'm finished. I thought I was done before, but apparently I wasn't. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place one person at a time. I am going to put this one up as a formidable Friday video because this was harder than it looked and I did it incorrectly. So it is now a variation of Kangular because Kangular isn't exactly what came out here, is it? I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.